Recently, I posted a photo of my moleskin note on the internet. Comments and reactions came, and most of them didn't believe my handwriting. Someone said it's from a book. Someone posted comments of appreciation. Someone asked for a proof that it is indeed written by hand. In this first video of what I know, I will share to you viewers about a simple trick on how to improve your handwriting. My name is John and this is what I know. Alright people, let's get started. Now as I mentioned, I'm using this unit pin lineup of fine liners of various sizes. And uh, the one I have is I have from the 0.05 up to 0.8 and it's good to have uh, various sizes of this uh, fine liners so you can vary the size of I recommend these pens because they are really good. They, they are fade proof, uh, acid free, they, they don't smear or blood uh, on paper. And, uh, if you're using other brands, you may do so. There's no problem with that. And, uh, maybe I think only the results may vary, but as long as it's uh, something like this uh, with the equivalent. Uh, have much of that problem. And I also mention is this uh, little flexible soft kind of rubber ruler. It's from Delhi. It's a, the name is Delhi Yuko. It's a soft uh, flexible ruler which makes it friendly for fine liners because uh, as you can see fine liners uh, they have sort of a felt tip kind of pen that you need to take care of and uh, by using this ruler uh, it will prolong the life of your fine liners and, uh, and I use this ruler really when I want to write on a straight line or a really defined line and uh, I will show to you how I do it. Now I'm gonna just simply write my name in a very simple, my, my kind of style. And you can actually see that the ruler is helping me just to make a really defined line, straight line. And You might ask how there are letters that you need to write descenders and for this method I just simply lift the ruler and lower it a little bit and for this example we have the letter G so in order to draw the tail you just 
from that position you just lower your ruler and draw the descender for the letter G and voila see that's very simple now some of you might ask now uh, where can I apply this kind of method well you can apply this to almost anything related to writing that includes making your own planner which uh, I can show here I made a this is a I, I made my own planner out of uh, my materials that I just showed this ruler and my fine liner pens and you can see here that it's uh, it's simple it's neat and it's usable and um, another example would be I have a note from a book called Essentialism and what I did here is that I used uh, different sizes of fine liners to take note and for example this one is from a, a point 0.2, this one is from a point 0.1 this one is from a 0.05 and you know just to make a little bit of art in there but it's still in a minimalist way and you can also uh, use this technique to simply just filling out information about yourself for example I'm gonna show you this uh, this is a passport of my wife and uh, I printed out my name in the emergency contact. And same, I'm using the same technique as what I showed earlier. You know, just to create a little bit of distance from the line there. You create something a simple but neat, kind of, you know, minimalist way of writing. And uh, a lot. There will be a lot of ways to uh, apply this method. This method is very simple, but uh, you need uh, lots and lots of uh, patience and, of course, lots of practice. And I'm pretty sure that anyone can uh, do this. Of course. Uh, if you use another pen, like a simple ball pen or the normal ball pen, it might not look like this because that's the ink of that pen might be different. And I think that this one is uh, this effect is also influenced by you know the properties of the the pigment that this pen use, which makes it very neat and. Uh, All you need is patience and lots and lots of practice. And of course, I think that although uh, not necessary, you have to invest also on good materials like the one I showed here. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope this video helps in a way. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave in the comment section below. like and subscribe for more videos to come in the future and uh, if you want information on the products I use in this video please uh, check in the description box below and until next time <laughs>